The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Hello, this is Patty Hunter with Patty's Page TV Show. Today, my special guest is Frank Lewis Allen. Hello, sir. Yeah. You got cold paws? Yeah, well, I have very cold hands. This, today, is a very special one. Frank Allen is a illustrator. Yep. And you do a lot of drawings and stuff. I'm a fine artist. Fine artist. You are fine. A very fine person, too. Thank you. So today, we're going to be asking him questions about himself and how he came over from England, really. So, uh, whereabouts in England are you from? Well, um, it's a place called Bedfordshire. It's about 40 minutes on the train from London. Oh, north or south? North. North. Yeah. Right, I think in Scotland. No, not that far north. Oh, no. no. Pretty close to London. Hell yeah. Yes, yeah, so we draw some lines as we. Does it work? This one does not work. That's quite Let me try one. Yeah, your one works. I, I should have to grab one from the table. Right. Hold on. Anyways, you are a drawer from how long have you been drawing illustrations? Like when this? I was at school, I used to um, draw a lot. I, I didn't talk to anybody except for my brothers and sisters right. until I was about eight. I wouldn't talk to anybody else. So I used to sit there and draw. And I used to have the kids used to come and sit around me and watch me draw. You're a very good drawer. And um, Who taught you? Did you sell? Yeah, just myself really. Whenever I've done drawing classes, it's been disaster. Mm. Because... Uh, when I try to draw like by the the methods that they teach you to, to measure yeah. and draw and everything, they just I can't do it. But if I was to draw something real just from a photo, right. I'd just draw it. So it you are actually your own, it's not an abstract art, is it really? Um, it's, it's difficult to classify because I haven't come across much similar. But it's abstract in nature because because I'm not drawing things on purpose and up to a point and then I sort of make things from the abstract so yeah. it's a bit of both what do you think of my son it's good. <laughs> I don't have a child but this is I my son I see it as, a, as an eye I as think. an eye oh my yeah. goodness look at all the <laughs> red marks on I try to keep things really natural and, and sort of unplanned but I always end up doing the, the same forms come out because well, they're just the most familiar forms to you, like faces and they're simple shapes. Oh, yeah. They come out. That's very lovely what you're doing. I don't want to do anything more because you're doing better than I am. But that's all right. I'm going to muck about. A cat! It's like a cheeky guy. It could be a cat, yeah. It looks like a cat. We saw a cloud yesterday that looked like a dog. Me and Carl are always looking out for clouds and, and seeing things in the clouds. Now, that looks a little rude, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> it looks like a heart, actually. Yeah, it, it's, yeah a heart. it's a heart. That's a heart. That's more or better. Yeah, that tends to happen a lot as well. Not so because there's rude thoughts going on. <laughs> it's just, they're just familiar shapes, you know. So how long have you been drawing, sir? So I started doing art for art's sake about five years ago. How long have you been in the USA? Three years. Three years? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, um, I miss a lot of England. England. Yeah. I miss being able to walk places. Yeah. Uh, and like the thing, 
which is funny, which we were watching a programme about people that live in Sweden the other day from England. Right. The thing people always miss the most is fish and chip shops. Oh, we have fish and chips here, Culver's. Yeah, but... Um, oh, I know, real fish and chips are in the Yeah, paper. like things like curry sauce and... Oh, and tartar and sauce. And uh, what do you call it? We don't really put tartar sauce on no. it. We do it in restaurants, but uh, we have mushy peas. Oh, yeah. Curry sauce. Right. And things like that. It's really nice. How about, uh, what do you call it, malt? Vinegar? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good in French fries. Yeah, we get that. We definitely, we find that in the shops. One thing I miss here as well, which you can get here, but it's very expensive, it's Marmite. People in America don't appreciate Marmite. They don't. No. They, they tend to think you've got to have a big spoon of it or something, and then they all think it's disgusting. Right. But you just put a teeny little bit of it on. Oh, you can't have a lot. No, and it's, it just tastes delicious. It just looks like sunglasses to me. We need to switch. We, we need, need to switch? Yeah, we need to switch yeah, and work on, work on each other's. Oh, okay. I'm afraid to touch yours. Yours is so no, good. No, 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 that's good. <laughs> this is nice. I like this. Yours is like electric, some, electric snowman. I, I took some meaty one time. Took some what? Some meaty, that's Japanese. Print, uh, that's Japanese uh, painting like this. Oh, yeah. With the you work like this. Yeah. My friend Gary likes to try out stuff like that. What you doing anyways? What's it turning into? Um. Oh, an alien. Snowman. 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 I thought it looked like an alien. Yeah. <laughs> this is a bit oh. like a rose. Oh, is it really? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, all different things will come out of the process, and uh, actually, it feels quite good doing this today. Actually, yeah, I haven't drawn anything for a while because because of you... my back, I've oh. been laying in bed, mm -hmm. and I've just drawn odd things like that picture of prints. So, uh, you like it here uh, in this area, of Fort Wayne? How long? You've been here in Fort Wayne for three years. A lot of times, I wish I was downtown because oh, then, right. then I could get to. Uh, oh, the art galleries, art galleries and things, and yeah. and be more independent. It wouldn't have to be chauffeured around everywhere. But apart from that, it's, it's nice. This it's looks quite... like a, a tomb thing. You know, the, what do you call it? Tuning fork. No, a tomb. Tomb, you know, like a note. Oh, yeah. Like an uh, um, What's the word? It's not a stage, but it's uh... right. I know what you mean. I got it. <laughs> yeah. I'm a lyricist myself. I write poems and stuff. Mm. I got some songs out. Do you write in uh, any uh, songs, poetry? Oh yeah, all the time. I've got lots of songs. You got lots of songs? Yeah. I mm -hmm. just tend to do them the same way as the art. I just sit down and press record, and, and you just go at it. Yeah. But I've heard you sing, you're very good. Thank you. So you were, uh, I, I met you at uh, Jennifer Ford uh, Art Gallery. You had an uh, uh, event going down there and I said a poem about the wolves. I thought it was pretty good. I was playing as R. Dakota. I was, uh, when I perform, I become the raven. A raven? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're good. You're excellent. So, uh, how long? How old are you? Can um, I ask? Thirty-five. Thirty-five? Yeah, to think about I that. I feel old. I'm about half your age. More. Oh my goodness. You're half my age. That's. Anyways, um, when you first started to do this, when you were quite young. Did it turn out to be anything like this? What? I didn't start doing this till I was about 31. 31? Because I always thought that you had to have, a, you had to have an idea in your head and the art was sort of phony if, if, if it... Well, people just sort of do stuff and then make up meanings for it. That's how I used to think. Right. But then I was round a friend's house and a lot of stuff had gone wrong. Like, uh, that was when I first hurt my back. Oh. And I couldn't walk anywhere further than my friend's house. Oh. So I was laid on his sofa a lot and 
listen to music and at one time I took my pens just to do something else and I just started drawing because we couldn't really focus which is quite common thread with me That's and right. I just did this first drawing and and it was just and then I did two or three more right and since all those four, four drawings have sold oh my but goodness. uh I just was like it was like a revelation it was like people are interested it's like well, if I let go of the fact that I feel I need to do something specific, if I just sit and just draw, right? It's nice it's, to share. It's pure. It's nice to share with people your your inner self, your inner being. This is like therapy, and this is beautiful artwork. Anyways, uh, there's some pictures over there. Can you hold them up and let, which is your favorite mm. of all? I know you have. Uh, guitarist. That probably lives somewhere else. Oh. Lately I've been trying painting, which I find quite difficult because... Oh, oh wow. Because um, I don't know what I'm doing with the colours. So it's just sort of... Um, what is it? Experimenting. It's just abstract. It looks like an insect. Yeah, there's with a... the eyes, doesn't it? Oh, and... I it's reflected it on the computer and it actually looks like a lion's face. Oh, Because no. you've got it near, yeah. you've got nose. Oh, oh, where's the mean? But that just comes <coughs> out sort of random, different fairy bits. But you're very good. Yeah. It comes out rather nice. What about the one uh, prints? How about showing that one? That one, I, my, my favourite prints. Oh, the funny thing about this picture mm -hmm. is I was drawing that, I did that a few weeks ago. And I put prints on. And, oh, you did that. And because um, I was just looking for different music to draw to, and I went to bed that night singing these songs. I've never drawn to Prince before, and that was the night he died, oh. which is very strange. I mean, just coincidental, you know. Oh, that's good. Here it is. This is this is Prince. Here's the man. Yeah, there's the laddie. Ah, oh. we we're, we're missing. Yeah, I think he was a very nice guy. Yeah, never met him, but he was quite a nice guy, he was. Yeah. And uh, there's an artist, this is a, a charcoal sketch I did of one of, you know, Soyaka Gans? Right. Who lives in Fort Wayne. Right. And she shows her art all around the world. Oh my goodness. And this is a sketch I did of one of her sculptures with charcoal. You did but, very good. Well, it's actually, did, I was just experimenting with charcoals because I haven't really used them before. You did and, good. And I think that... I'll How? do more with charcoals in the future. Cause Have you travelled around? No, not really. Not really. The, uh, the only uh, country I've been to besides America and England is is um, uh, Ireland. Ireland? Yeah, That's I, I love Ireland. Parents, 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 parents are from. I love County Wicklow. Yourself? Uh, so? I forget. Uh, Wicklow is just south of Dublin. Right. And it's, uh, they filmed a lot of films there, like Braveheart. And oh so God. you get some idea of how beautiful it is, isn't you? Oh, it's lovely there. I want to go to Scotland someday, but it's a wee bit expensive. Yeah, that's the same problem with me going home to visit my family. I haven't been able to yet. When was it's the just, last time you've seen them? Um, three years ago. Three years. But my sister came about two weeks ago. Oh, that's all right. But I've got, um... Three sisters and one brother. Well, you must have been interesting as you were growing up with each other, eh? Yeah, that's, I would have been quite lonely without them, probably. Yeah. You met my husband, Bob. Yeah. He was a lone child, you know, his parents didn't have any more, but yeah, he's, a, he's an okay guy. I love him very much. Tara's a single, uh, only child. Is he really? Oh, she is. Oh. Yeah. She upstairs. I can hear some water running. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to meet her sometime later on. So, uh, yeah. What are you doing now? Look, uh, like a slug. Yeah, like a bug. A bug. There's a it's bug hidden in antenna. the drawing. Yeah. An ant. This it's is a bit aunt. like a minion. Uh, do you oh. know the minions? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness! I do draw nicely, don't I? <laughs> He's making an um, uh, exquisite drawing right here out of my mess that I put on there. He's doing a good job. Uh, the good thing about drawing with people is yeah. it, 
I think it gives them confidence. Make they probably wouldn't try it otherwise. What does that look like? I don't know. I don't know either. Sometimes I just put these just muck about symbols, it. sort of, yeah. but they're not real symbols, they're just... It's supposed to be a flower, but it's not really one. What's supposed to be? Oh, it could be. Um, I'm trying to make a bamboo. Yeah. But it didn't work. Oh well. So, uh, doing any more shows this uh, year? I'm hoping to exhibit the Guitar Centre are going to do a show. Um, that's a new thing that some of their staff thought would be a good idea, so they contacted the main branch and they said, yeah. yeah. So they're going to do a big art show about 30 foot uh, long. And so that's going to be quite fun with a lot of different people. Is that like a mural? The They'll way. be looking for people each month. Right. Uh, people that do art related to music. Oh, that's beautiful. I, I noticed that your uh, guitars. Yeah. Lots of guitars. How long did it take you to do that one? Mm. That'd be giving away, on giving away all my secrets. Okay, I won't then. No, no, it's fine. Show you? It doesn't take me very long because no. cause there's no plan. And you got gold and silver and... Yeah, like, I've got to take this one to uh, Ohio. Right. You're doing an uh, event there? Or? No, someone's commissioned this. Oh. Yeah, someone asked for this. Wow, lovely. I'm thinking about adding more paint just to brighten it up. Yeah. What kind? What colour? Uh, are you thinking? Same colours, just... just More, more uh, grey? More of the silver and gold. Right. Ooh, that's oh. kind of awkward. I killed the bird. You killed the bird. <laughs> you see the bird. Just show the bird. That's a raven, not a crow. That's funny someone asked me if that was real. <laughs> no, I did. I asked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the nut. No, but I mean, someone thought, they saw it in a photo with me and they thought it was alive. I mean. Oh, rather. Not, not just real, alive. <laughs> yeah. So, um, did you like my wolf, uh, Home. Yes. Yes. I rather like that. I wrote one for that too as well. Did you? But I never ended up reading it out. How about reading it? I got too carried away. Okay, how about reading it? Because I want to hear your poem. The Wolf and the Raven. The Wolf and the Raven. So, the Wolf and the Raven. The journey was not so fast as, say, a sugar rush or the demise of a king. Feathers splayed on the ground. Unintentional agony. The angry jowls. Chomping on infinite, infinity's embrace. I saw you there Tuesday. I saw you there. No matter, grounded. Metallic shrouds felt like needles, pinned, grounded. I am the raven brought low. Interior pain, no matter now. I saw you Tuesday. I saw you there Tuesday. Sunlight glimpsed red tinge through bloody vision. Shadows and again an angry mouth. I saw you there Monday. I did, I saw you there Monday. Black feathers grounded the red earth. Sinews, muscles, all lift to look upwards. Where's Simon? Warn him about the wolf, Abigail. Warn Simon about the wolf. Silver eyes, lightning reflected, thunders crack. Through sparks and pupils. Warn him, the wolf will bring him down. He has thunder. Whimper, loose, collapse. Lifting renditions of madness, more loose sparks. False integrity to spell infinity to you. Only madness to you. I roar as only a raven can roar, collapsed, rooted in chaos. Am I the raven? It must at least fly, perchance to glide. <sighs> Whisper this, crimson sunrise gone, dark is my colour, you know me. <sighs> Step back from here in the beauty of the stars. They made me, made me sting, are they really there? Can I really reach them? So loose that smile. The night is mine for I am in it, feathers lift. And a glimmer from the ascent. All right. Yeah. Can I read mine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to read mine. Hope you don't mind. If you can find all your pieces. See, that was the first ever reading of that poem, you see. Yeah, you did good. And my first ever poetry reading. Oh, you did good. You did uh, smash it. Well, I, I read it. I mean, you don't have to read it, mine. Yeah, yeah. Put my glasses on, see what I'm doing. 
You don't get much opportunity to read poetry. No, I don't really. Yeah. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Just, just sort of roll with your finger. Oh, right. Okay, here's my poem that I did back on February 29th of this year, 2016. Wolves, written by Patty Hunter. Can't get doing that. Okay. The leader of the wolves is the head of the pack. The one that's the strongest is the one that will last. Together they run through the meadows and the trees, going up and down hills and swimming across streams. For they are wild and free, like the winds they fly, and without a sun, they hunt without care. They are indeed the hunters, bringing down the deer, and stampeding the buffalo, for they live without fear. For they're wild and free, like the winds they fly, and without a sun, sound I mean, they hunt without care. The only enemies they have are the humans that kill them. Man kills without shames, and said the wolves are to blame. For they are wild and free, like the winds they fly, and without a sound, they hunt without care. People, let the wolves live. They are the proud, let the proud pack survive. They have the essence of freedom, and without it, they would die. For they are wild and free, like the winds they fly, and without a sound, they hunt without care. Thank you. I had to do it. You, uh, oh, that's yours. And Thank you. with your poem as well. Thank you. How long did it take you to make, to write that? Just like, um... Just like... Just like <laughs> writing down. Yeah, when, sometimes poetry comes to me and I can never force it. It's just like... It's just the words will just come out and I'll just keep writing it. I mean, I don't know if it's like... Actually, a lot of times, it's like the art. It makes sense afterwards. Yes. I have written over 300 poems in about 28 years. Yeah. But how long have you been writing, like you said, just recently? I've only written a couple. Yeah. Uh, I've probably written about 10 poems oh, in my life. And it's just like, uh, just at different times, I just, I wake up with words in my head or something. And just, yeah. Or just, usually, usually, um, Lack of sleep, <laughs> that and, then, and then and then then it, the words are just there. Yeah. Usually I write when I uh, do my poetry at night. Yeah. Do you draw? I find anything? I'm more cr most creative when I'm actually really tired, actually. Yeah, which you are right now, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm having trouble sleeping lately. I'm sorry. I I just have a. Back. I seem to go through cycles. Oh, so do I. So it's just like the last week or so has just been lots of funny dreams. Ooh. And just like lots of tossing and turning. Yeah. In I get insomnia too as well. I, ne I never have any trouble going to sleep. It's oh, just the quality of the sleep. sleep. Mm. It's the quality of the sleep is just very bad. Yeah, I had... Uh, we went to a sleep clinic and they couldn't really work out why. But I, yeah. I don't go into a deep sleep for long enough. Oh. So. So it's kind of hard to so get been, a decent rest. Yeah, so I've been tired for years, so I'm oh, just used to it. Mercy for heavens. Well, listen, we're going to show the art. I have to sign it. Oh, oh, can you sign yours? Okay. Pate. I always sign it somewhere crazy. Hunter, H U N T E R. There you go, love. Take a photo of that. I think I've done it actually, the cat is. Right. There you go. Our, our uh, art we did together, eh? It's lovely. There's a wee cat up there, and there's a snowman down there. There's a heart right down there where Frank had uh, signed his name. And flowers all over the place there. So I'm figuring out what that is. 
<laughs> I did that. I like that. <laughs> it's, oh. it's a corkscrew plant. Oh, is it really? Oh, then I, then I accept that. Well, listen, Frank, Lewis, Alan, thank you so much for coming on to my show. Feel free to draw more on this. Oh, thank you. Or colour it in or... Colour. Yeah. Oh. That might be fun to do. Thanks. Thank oh, you, sir. I didn't show you my new colouring book. Oh, let's see the new colouring book. How many more minutes? One minute. Let me see. Uh, Hold on. Where did I put it? This is, oh, here. Oh, it's not just me. It's lots of artists. They're all on the autistic spectrum. Oh, 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 and yes. It's a wonderful art book. You autistic know. Friends colouring book. A friend of mine who lives in California, Kelly Green, collated that. That's cool. That's lovely. And with that, we have to say goodbye, my friend. May you come on my show again. Yep. Thank you. Godspeed, my love, until we meet again. You're always in my heart and every dream. Don't let this time. So until we meet again, God speed my love. God is with us always.